So once the white of your flower polish is dry, those shapes that you made over the green, you want to go in with your neon colors and uh, cover up the white. And it's okay if you go outside the lines, it'll give it that even more screen printed look. You definitely want to cover the entirety of the flower uh, because you don't want any white peeking out. There are so many different colors that Andy Warhol used for these flowers. You can use any combination that you want. It doesn't necessarily have to be neon. Well, I'm a huge Andy Warhol fan. Um, and I just wanted to do a nail art series in tribute to him. Most of my looks actually are more inspired by fine art than anything else. So. Um, Andy Warhol's kind of a, a holy grail to me, so I decided to, uh, I did a Maryland nail, uh, a Warhol flower nail, and we're gonna get to my last nail, the Warhol banana from the Velvet Underground cover. So once you laid your flowers down, it's time to go in with black to do the blades of grass. And I'm gonna use a very, very thin striper brush uh, to go in and get those light, light, light lines. And they can be a little fuzzy, they can be a little uneven because it'll just make it look more accurately like the photocopy technique. And I'm just stroking randomly. You know, wherever there's space, I'm picking a direction and I'm going for it. And then I'm trying to, you know, have lines that go perpendicular and diagonally and just, you know, the way grass is random. Okay, so now to do the center of the flower, you kind of want to give it that like fuzzy a pollen look. So I actually use the bottle the neck, around the neck of the bottle is where the polish gets just a little extra clumpy and that'll be perfect for sort of having that like fuzzed out middle. And then I just sort of like dab it on randomly. Two, three, four, until it looks fill. And you know, I just want to make this as random and um, asymmetrical as possible. I don't want any flower to look identical. Okay, so now I'm gonna top coat my flower 